Hello. Okay, hi everyone. So my name is Teacher Amira and I am going to um, teach English language. So how is everyone today? So Tia, Daniel, um, you said that you cannot hear. Can you hear now? Azura Saleh. So how are you guys doing within this quarantine period? Hi everyone. So um, before we start for today's uh, lesson, so I am going to show you a few things. Uh, okay, the first one is this. I have a very cute pencil case. It has a black tag on it. So this is my favorite pencil case. Okay, the first one, pencil case. And then I have um, a book. This is a notebook. It's, it, the color of the book is blue and also pink. So, um, from the, this object that I have uh, described to you, what do you think uh, are we going to learn about? even though I have already pasted, like put it here, adjectives, but yeah, you know, we are going to learn about adjectives today. So, so these are adjectives. The, one, uh, the first one that I mentioned before is um, the pencil case, right? Like I have a cute pencil case. So the word cute is describing the pencil case. The pencil case is cute. And also it has a black cat. The black cat, so very cute. And also the book. So the book is uh, blue and pink in color. Am I right? So the word, uh, the word blue and also pink describe the noun book. So this is the noun. So now we are going into a very serious mode. So everyone, um, let's take a look at uh, adjectives. Um, okay. uh, before we start, uh, these are the learning objectives that we will try to achieve for today's webinar, which is the first one is to list at least three examples of additives, and then to identify at least three adjectives and three adverbs, and also to write at least three sentences using adjectives. Okay, I think this uh, learning objectives are achievable, right? Okay. So now let's 
take a look at the contents that we are going to learn today. So the first one would be the definition of adjectives, uh, position of adjectives, degrees of adjectives, types of adjectives, and also adjectives versus adverbs. Okay, definition. So what is adjective? So in Malay, we will say it as catasified. Catasified. What is catasified? Okay. Uh, you, you can learn that with your Malay teacher. But in English, it's the same with adjective. Catasified is um, a word that describe or modify nouns. So what are nouns? Nouns are names, are places, or things. Uh, that we have, or, or even objects. So uh, if, uh, like, for example, I ask a question, um, what is your name? So your answer would be, my name is uh, Hang Yi. So Hang Yi is the noun of the family, right? Okay. And also uh, name is also Uh, let's take a look at the example here. The big tree is falling down. So the word big is describing the word tree. So the word big is an adjective. Am I right? So this is an attribute adjective where it is describing that the tree is very big. We are referring to that tree. The big tree is falling down. All right. So, uh, the word tree is the noun in the sentence. All right, so far so good. Okay, everyone, can we continue? Yeah, I guess we'll continue then. All right. <clears throat> so, the position of adjective. So, uh, for the position of adjective, usually uh, we use it. Because we are describing the noun, right? So, for example, I have um, a black uh, speaker. So, the word black is immediately. Okay. So, that's usually um, how we use uh, the position of adjective in the sentences. So, we have a few examples here. So, um, the first one is the beautiful. So the word beautiful so with the now lady. Lady is beautiful. So uh, in the in the position of the sentence, it is located be, uh, right before the word lady, the noun lady. Right? Okay. Also uh, my mother is a good cook. So um, the word good here is located right before the word cook. What is a cook? Cook is someone who cooks, right? Like a chef. Yeah. So my mother is a very good at cooking. So um, uh, the position of adjectives is uh, located uh, before noun. Okay. So sound. Sure. The video will suddenly no sound. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do? All right. I'll try. Okay. And then uh, the next uh, example that we have here is the colorful birds have been flying around and the old, uh, sorry, excuse me. The, the colorful birds have been flying around the old tree since this morning. So there are two adjectives in the sentence. So the colorful birds, the birds are colorful. The word colorful is located before the word bird. And also another adjective is the old tree. So also again, uh, the word old is located. Before the word tree, since this. 
All right. Okay. Uh, now we are looking at the uh, degrees of acceptance. So just as uh, how you have like degrees of um, or certain levels of things, such as like uh, in school, you you went from from one, from two, from three, from four, from five, and then you go into higher level. You go maybe you you take um, STTM, you know, pre university. You take a diploma. You take yeah everything else that is higher ups and ups until PhD. So that is what we call as degrees, right? It's like a skill, skill like going uh, from low into the high level. So uh, we also have that in adjectives. So the degrees of adjectives um, are positive, comparative, and superlative. Okay. Adjectives can portray degrees of modification, all right? Okay, uh, the example that I have here is my book. My book. But this is the thickest amount of So, tak ada siapa boleh lawan. Kita tebalan buku bapak you. Bapak you punya, punya lah. Paling buku bapak you lah. Paling tebal. So, so uh, in this uh, context, in this sentence, we are talking about it. Uh, it's gradually increasing. Like the book is thick and then it's getting more thick, but we call it as thicker. Because there is a pattern for that. And then um, the thickest would be the highest of all, which is my book. Uh, the For this book is the thickest. So understand. Degrees of adjective. Any question? Teacher, you're glitching. Oh my god, I'm glitching. Lag and no sound. Hi, my honey bunny. Oh, happy bunny. Okay. Um. Uh. We'll just continue then. Okay, so uh, these are more examples of um, degrees of adjectives. So uh, the positive would be rich, an example. The comparative would be richer. The superlative would be richest, right? Richest. And then the word smart, the comparative would be smarter. The superlative would be the smartest. Okay, uh, there's one thing that I have to remind you that um, before, uh, before you use the superlative word, you have to put the word the because we are referring to there's no one, there's nothing else that other than uh, that thing, like for example, that uh, I am the richest in the town, so there's no one, no one other than me who is rich, richer than me. So I am the richest. So specifically me. I am the richest. I me. Mean, okay. So uh, we have a question here. Teacher, what's the meaning of superlative? So um, superlative is uh, a word that we use in context of our language, English, uh, English language, which is the highest degree of something. Okay, highest degree of something. Or maybe you can, if you want to be sure of the meaning, you can just uh, try to look at the internet. But um, yeah, if I want to say like simply, it's just the highest level of something. All right, okay. Continue uh, with uh, the word handsome. The comparative would be more handsome, 
not handsomer. No, no, no. Not handsomer. It's more handsome. And also, uh, the superlative for that, uh, for the word handsome is the most handsome. All right. So, uh, this uh, applies because, uh, this applies in this, uh, there are a few words that we, that does not follow the pattern of the comparative and also the superlative. So, uh, so these are the example of the words that don't follow. So, if for you in order for you to know which words actually follows the pattern and which words does the which words don't follow the pattern, then you have to have a wide vocabulary. Araso, ah, uh, sorry, araso. Understand? So you have to read more. You have to listen to English more. You have to involve yourself in the language more okay uh, and then okay we have the last uh, example for uh one. beautiful positive comparative would be more beautiful and then superlative would be the most beautiful i will give you the example i am the most beautiful um girl in the town so there's uh no one no one in the town is more beautiful than me so that's what it means. So that is why we have to put the word the because the word the refers to something that is specific. All right? Okay? Understand? Okay. Now, we also have irregular comparatives and superlative form. Okay. Just now, they don't follow the patterns. Now, we have irregular blah. Okay. Uh, that's language. Language is flexible. So, okay. Um, if you want to say uh, uh, there are four, you have to have a wide vocabulary for you to uh, ensure which words that follows the pattern, which words that does not follow the pattern, which words that are irregular, comparatives and superlative form. So, in this case, what we have here, I have a few examples for you. So the first one would be good. And the comparative form of good is better. And the superlative form of uh, the word good is best. There is no such thing as good, gooder, goodest, no. And also there is no such thing as good, um, more Another, uh, another example is uh, um, the antony, antony of the word good. The first one would be bad. The bad is uh, for the, the word, and also the comparative form of bad is words with e, okay? E. Remember, e for comparative. So you don't confuse the word, the word worse with e and also the word worse with c, okay? The superlative form of bad is worst with c. All right. So E comparative, C superlative. Okay? Okay? All right? Worst? Worst? Okay. So, and then uh, we have another example is um, we have the word little. Little, little. So, yeah, which accent do you want? Little, little. And also the comparative form of the word little is less and then uh, we have the word least for the superlative form of the word little okay and also we have here is far and then we have the word pudu and pudu oh, i'm so sorry this one shouldn't be here this one should be uh the the last last example should be uh in the uh in uh, the first boxes. So this is a regular, uh, regular comparative and superlative form. I'm so sorry. There must be something that I missed. So sorry about that. Okay. 
So that is the degree of adjective. So so far so good. Switching again. Like thank you. Okay, welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um hmm. okay, so far so good, I guess. We uh okay, so now we are going to the next slide, which is quite um how do I say it? Uh challenging. It's not really challenging. It's just that it's quite a lot to take in. So I hope you can, you can take it in lah for this one hour. So yes, we have a question here. Near? Okay, for the word near, near, the comparative would be nearer, the superlative would be nearest. So it follows the pattern. The word near follows the pattern. Okay? All right. So, um, the types of adjectives. So there are many, many types of adjectives. So the one that the ones that we know is that okay, the word that describes nouns or adjectives. However, there are we are not really familiar with the types of adjectives. That we don't know that is actually an adjective and it's actually what kind of type uh, of adjectives they are. All right. So uh, let's take a look. Okay. So now the first one is um, okay, articles. Do you know that articles are adjectives? Well, I didn't know that articles were rejected before. So after like few years of studying in uh, what school? In secondary school. And then I know that articles are actually rejected. So yeah, articles are rejected. Why? Because articles describe the noun. Okay, how? Okay, uh, are, what are articles? Articles are a. Uh, the word and word the, like I mentioned before, the word the. Okay. So how does um an article becomes an adjective? So let's take a look at the example. I like an apple. So the noun here is the apple. Apple is the noun, and then there is the word and before the noun apple. So why is uh, I'm saying that uh, the article and is an adjective because we are talking about the apple and apple means one apple. So we are talking that there is only one apple. I only like one apple. I like an apple and that's it, an apple. I don't like a strawberry. I don't like a lemon. I like an apple. All right, we are talking about that. So. Uh, we can also say that uh, I like, um, or I maybe maybe I like two apples. That's how we say it. Okay, and also um, what else? Okay, uh, another example is she has a bicycle. Uh, it applies the same example as before. So the uh, the noun that we have here is bicycle, right? So she has a bicycle. She only has one bicycle. She doesn't have two. She doesn't have three. She doesn't have um, ten bicycles. She has a bicycle. So that's why the article, which is uh, which shows that uh, the condition of the bicycle, which is one, or the number of the bicycle, so it is an adjective or the sentence. Okay. Okay, I am so thirsty, but I am fasting. <sighs> okay, but we can do this. Okay. Now, let's take a look at possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Okay. Um, we usually hear that there is a possessive pronoun, right? Uh, what is possessive pronoun? Possessive pronoun is something that shows belonging. 
okay is as if she was belonging so it can also okay, be used as adjective okay good examples of possessive adjectives are my your his her its our and their okay these are all possessive adjectives. All right. Okay. Um, uh, let's take a look at example first. Okay, my hair is so messy. So the noun here is hair. There is my hair. My hair is so messy inside here, inside this stuff, inside this studio. It's so messy. So we are talking about the hair, and it is my hair. My friend's hair, not my cat's hair, not my mother's hair. We are talking about my hair. So that is why the possessive adjective is uh, my is the possessive adjective for the word hair. Okay. Now, the cat is wagging its tail. Okay, remember that I said that possessive adjective can also be used as possessive pronoun. Okay. In this sentence, we can see that uh, the function, the both, both functions can be seen. Okay, the cat is wagging its tail. So, um, the noun that we are talking with adjectives is the tail. Okay, its tail. We are talking about the cat's tail. Okay, this is the adjective. And it is also can be used as um, possessive pronoun, which is... Uh, it refers to the cat's tail as well. All right? Okay. Okay. So we have a question here. What is the difference between these and these? Okay. The word THIS, this is uh, used for singular, uh, singular nouns. What do these, T H E S E, is used for plural nouns. For example, this is my speaker. These are mine. This with I S. These are mine with T H E S E. All right? Okay, I hope you get that. Kurao Dini Melsa. All right. Okay, now let's continue with demonstrating. I'm so sorry that my voice is breaking. It's because I'm thirsty. <laughs> like seriously. Okay. Um, demonstrative adjectives. Okay. The, what are the demonstrative adjectives? So yes, just uh, just as what Kuro Rodini has asked before. Uh, the demonstratives are this, that, these. Those. So the word this and that, the first uh, two that are listed here is for singular nouns, used for singular nouns. And then uh, the second, the, the two words later, these and those are used for plural nouns. All right? Okay. So uh, now we can say, uh, we can take a look at the example. So these books belong to the girl with white dress. So these books, okay? We are talking about the books. These books. These books. Okay, these books. I don't have any other books. So let's let's pretend that this is also books. So these books belong to the girl with the white dress. So uh, okay, white. Also, is, is also an adjective, but we are talking about the books here. We are using the demonstrative adjective. So, yeah. Understand? Okay, so far? Okay, good. And also, you can put the coffee on that table. Okay, we are talking about that table, that specific table. We are talking about that table in the corner. Okay, so that is why um, the word that is an adjective to the noun table. Okay, so that is demonstrative. And also numbers. Okay, numbers 
are also adjectives. Um, finally, with the articles, the first uh, types of adjectives that we have discussed before, uh, that articles to and the is used uh, when we refer to one thing, right? Uh, singular. So for numbers, uh, numbers become the adjective of a sentence when it answers the question of how many. For example, I ask you, okay, how many days have, uh, how many days have it been, in, have you been in this room? Okay, I'll rephrase. How many days have you been in this room? So you, your answer would be, I have been in this room for three days. So the noun that your uh, that you in your answer is uh, days, right? So the number three describes the noun days. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the examples. So I have three bicycles at home. So just now she has a bicycle. So I have three. So I have more bicycles. So we can use the comparative, I have more bicycles at home. So I have three bicycles at home. The number three is describing the noun bicycles, okay? And then the teacher asks us to get into group of six. Okay, group of six. The word, uh, sorry, number six is describing the group. Okay, how uh, in a group, there should be six people in the group. Okay, so that shows um, adjective of the noun group. All right. Okay, now we have um, interrogative, interrogative adjective. What is interrogative? Interrogate, have you heard of interrogative? Interrogate, like investigate, right? right? So interrogative or actually question, interrogative question. So the questions that we have here, for example, are which, what, who. So these um, interrogative words are actually adjective. So let's take a look at the example. Do you know whose sock is that? So we are talking about that sock, but whose sock? Apa punya tu? Apa punya sock tu yang tinggal tengah jalan tu? Okay? We are talking about that sock. So, whose sock is that? Siapa punya sock? Okay. The word whose is referring, uh, is modifying the noun. Uh, and then the second example is what is your reason for being late? Huh? What is your reason for being late? That's what my lecture always comes. And yeah, well, the past is in the past. Okay, what is your reason for being here? So the question what is the adjective for the word now? So um, interrogative adjectives is, uh, how to say it? Um, uh, we don't usually think that they are adjective. We usually think that the, the only functions uh, the only function for interrogatives are to ask questions. Like, what is your name? What is your, uh, what is your address? When, when do you have the meal? So we only think of that usually, but however, the uh, interrogative is also an adjective, all right? Because the person is here. All right. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, okay. Answering the question from who? Rodini Melsa again. Okay. Three bukan supposed to be three. Okay. Yes. Right. Who? Um. You. Uh. We are supposed to write the numbers. Uh. In words instead of the numbers in number four. All right, so I was lazy. Let's say the teacher is a bit lazy. So I, I, I forgot 
about that okay thank you for reminding me and also uh, for the ideas so for the rest of you remember if the words are i'm sorry if the numbers that we are talking about is um is has one word only so we should use um in word form instead of numbers form for example uh one until 11 12 13 14 uh 20 okay until 20 and then 21 we can use uh the numbers two and one 21 all right okay all right okay so i got a box uh, a cat and a box emoji from Pooh. okay thank you um all right so where will we I interrogate all right indefinite so ah, indefinite what do you know about indefinite indefinite means there is no specific numbers there is no specific items uh you just uh like guess you just have to take a guess like um for example that we have here any the word any the word many several no few so we don't have specific numbers for that and for example many like many like how much i have many uh many birdies but we're not talking about how many birdies like maybe i have two maybe i have three so indefinite means uh indefinite are words that does not uh have any specific number okay so in this case uh the types of adjective for indefinite so uh let's take a look at this example do you uh sorry excuse me do you know any place that we can have fun so what is the noun here okay no one just one day okay the noun here is um place so the word any is the indefinite adjective for the noun place, all right? Okay, and then uh, the next one is, I only have several candies left. So the noun here would be, the noun here would be candies. I only have several candies left. So the adjective would be several, all right? several candies left so there's uh not much candies left maybe five maybe six we don't know we don't know for sure but it still describes the noun candies uh, so last but not least attributive this is uh the most common uh used adjectives in sentences people usually use uh, these adjectives in uh, their sentences to describe construct sentences all right uh, attributive what is attributive characteristics attributes so it used to discuss attributes such as beautiful small new pink malaysian gold so what are those like uh, attributes like colors um size what else um new old the condition all right so the example that i have here is i have small pimple in on my face so yeah i have small pimple on my face here yeah i woke up this morning and i had a pimple and i was like oh my god i have a pimple so yeah so i put it here i have small pimple on my face so the word small is the attribute of the people on my face people is the noun okay so understand so far i hope you do if you have any question you can just write it down just like the others have done and also what else uh what do we have uh okay my father gave my mother a gold ring so we are talking about the ring the ring is the noun so um gold is the attribute of the ring so the ring is gold it's not it's not a silver ring it's not a um a plastic ring it's a gold ring okay
okay, the attribute is, is made of gold. And she is a Malaysian. So, Malaysian, so nationality. So, it is her attribute. That girl is a Malaysian. She comes from Malaysia. So, yeah, that is the attribute of the. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, uh, I'm just gonna touch about this very briefly because we are uh, confused between adjectives and also adverbs. Am I not right? Am I not right? Am I not mistaken? Okay. So, what are adjectives and what are adverbs? So adjectives are words that describe noun, right? Remember, adjectives, noun. What is noun? Noun, places, uh, names, objects, things. But adverbs are words that describe verbs. What are verbs? Action, things that you do. Cut the creature. All right, I am, I am parking very fastly. I am, uh, I am listening carefully. So those are so, and also the adverbs are used to answer how questions. Like uh, that's why I, uh, like I have given you an example before. I am talking fastly. I am, I am listening carefully. Or uh, so that is how I am explaining to you how. Do I listen and how do I speak? Okay, so let's take a look at the examples just to give you um, the comparison. Uh, go, yes, the comparison between adjectives and also adverbs. Okay, so uh, the first one is the boy has the loud voice. The boy has the loud voice. So what we're describing here is the voice. So the voice is the noun, therefore uh, we should use adjective, which is loud. All right, understand? Okay, and then uh, on the other hand, the boy speaks so loudly. Okay, the word, uh, the thing that we is how the boy speaks, speaks so loudly. So we are talking about the action of the verb. So if the verb, we are talking about the verb, then we should describe it with adverbs. Instead of adverbs. And then uh, the next example is she is a graceful dancer. A graceful dancer. We are talking about the dancer. She dance. Uh, she is a graceful dancer. She has always been. A graceful dancer. That's it. So we are talking about the dancer, and she, uh, she, she's a graceful one. Okay. And then for verbs, uh, for adverbs, she dances gracefully. She usually dances very gracefully. So we are talking about how she dances, and she dances gracefully. Okay. The next one, he is driving on a dangerous road. So we are talking about the road here. So the road is a noun and the road is very dangerous. So he, the guy, is driving on a dangerous road. So we are talking about the road. So we are describing that the road is dangerous. Maybe it is slippery or maybe it is bumpy or maybe it, it has, uh, I don't know, maybe it just rains so it's very slippery and something. On the other hand, for uh, if you want to use adverbs, uh, we can say that he drives dangerously on the road. It's not about the road, it's about how he drives. He drives very dangerously. Maybe he exceeded uh, the speed limit, maybe he's reckless in his driving, so that is how he drives. So that uh, that is the difference between adjectives. So I hope you understand about that and I hope you won't confuse it in the future. So do you have any question? Hmm. Yeah. 
I got a debt, so I'm not sure why debt. Okay, now it's time for exercises. So exercises. Uh, No, 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 thank you yet. Saba, saba. We have exercises for you. Okay, now. Okay, let's try to do this together. Um, well, basically, I will do it uh, by myself, but I hope you're with me. And we will learn together. Okay. So categorize the words below into nouns and adjectives. So first thing, in order for you to know what are adjectives and uh, how to be good in the language, you have to know what is noun and what is adjectives. So this exercise will try to um, make sure that we achieve our first uh, learning objective which is to list at least three adjectives, three example of adjective uh, after the lesson ends. So what are nouns? So is window a noun or an adjective? Window. Window. Window is not describing anything so window is a noun. So window. Right. And then we have um, the word uh, wooden. Wooden. It's not wood, but it's wooden. Is it a noun or is it an adjective? So if the word is wood, then definitely it would be noun. However, it is wooden. It is describing something. For example, uh, I am I am pulling the wooden door. Okay, so the word wooden is an adjective. All right, and then what else? Uh, slippers, slippers, the thing that you wear on your feet. Slippers is a thing. So is it a noun or an adjective? Does it describe anything? No, so slippers as oh, sorry, two feet is a noun. And also after slippers, flower, flower definitely a noun. Flower is a noun. Okay, and then we have what beautiful. So beautiful is a condition. It's not a thing. It's not a name. It's not a place, so it should be exactly so beautiful. All right, and then what else? Uh, slippery, yes, yeah, slippery. Just now we have slippers, and now we have slippery. So slippery is describing that the slipper is already about. You should throw away your slippers because it, it is it has already been slippery. So slippery is a an adjective, right? And windy. It is a windy day today. So we are talking about condition. We are describing a noun. Window is not a noun. Window is what? Right. All right. Okay. Windy. So windy is. Uh, what what energy? Okay. And also graceful, 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 graceful is adjective. All right. Okay. A girl. A girl is a girl an adjective? Or is it a noun? Girl is a noun. Girl. Okay, uh, we have seen this before in the types of adjectives. So can you answer it, whether it is an adjective or is it a noun? Oh, 
Okay, the word, the word uh, is an article. So article is an adjective. It is not a noun. It is not a thing. It is not an object. It is not a place. It is not a name. Right? Okay. Find it in the types of adjectives. It is in article. All right. Another one. Uh, Twenty-three. or I have sorry I have 23 bicycles so I like bicycles why do I like I have 23 bicycles so 23 is an adjective because it describes bicycles all right those what is this we have question on this that's this that those this this these, these those sorry so what do you think? Is it an adjective or is it a noun? Okay, I will answer that. It is adjective. Good job. Good job for those who are answering. Yes, it is to describe someone. Adjective, adjective. Yes, good job everyone. Teacher is very proud. Okay, okay, bad. The one that you love the most. The one that I love the most, that I cannot get out of it from like every day. Even if it's already 12 in the day, but it's time. But is it a noun or an adjective? Is it not right? It's an object, but it doesn't describe anything. That is an a noun. Eh, excuse me, a noun. Late. So late. Why are you late? Late. I am late. She is a late comer. So late is an. Is an. Let's see who answers first. Okay. Uh, no one answer. So I will answer. Okay. What was our question again? Ali, bet, late, late. Okay, late is actually an adjective. <laughs> Why did I write adjective there? Um, 23, okay, those. Those, and then, okay, bad. Uh, bad is the noun, okay, late is an adjective. All right, we have a few more minutes. Okay, Ali. Ali. Ali is always in textbooks. Malay textbooks, English textbooks, Ali is everywhere. So Ali is a what? Is it a noun or an adjective? Ali is a noun. Yes, he has a name. Yellow, yellow, yellow is a color. The color is a? The type of adjective would be attributive adjective. Which is adjective. So, yeah, no. All right. We have art. Art. Who loves art? Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. We are talking about art. So, art is a. Art is a noun. Art is a noun. If you say it's artsy, then it is an adjective. Okay. We have. Next is cloth. 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 So, do I have cloth here? I don't have cloth here. So, what is the cloth? Is it a noun or an adjective? So, cloth is an, uh, sorry, a noun. So, C L O T H, cloth. Sneakers. Sneakers. Favorite. Not this. It's the sneakers that you wear on your feet. So what is what are sneakers? Sneakers are um nouns. Good job, Jeremy Tan. Oh sorry, I keep on. All right, sneakers. And last but not least, pillow. Also things that you cannot get away with. It's very hard to you. 
and it yes nouns nouns yes nouns good good job jeremy and also cool can i call you cool okay cool so yes the pillow pillow yes pillow sorry okay okay complete good job these are all correct because i did it with you guys okay so thank you for um uh thank you for giving me cooperation and listen to me talking for an hour and also with the, also helping me with the exercises but we have another but we have another three minutes so we can we try to do it very fastly very very fast so we talked about adjective and adverb so i had i sorry i have a text here this is from my previous student's essay. So he was writing a descriptive essay. So he has to use a lot of adjectives. So what I want you to do is for you just list down the adjectives also and also the adverbs of the, that you can find in the passage. Okay, it was on a particular sentence. It was an a uh, uh, adjective particular 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 is also an adjective because it's indefinite adjective and also sunny sunny is also adjective. All right, we're talking about the day. All right, where my body felt like enjoying the cold, cold, and then we have blue of the Caribbean Sea. Okay, I found myself on the canoe hardly, hardly putting my sky blue diving. So hardly is an adverb. Why? Because uh, the word is describing of how hard the guy is trying to put his diving suit on. And I fully put on my couple, fully, also, uh, also an adverb describing food. On my couple, couple is an adjective. Couple brown is also adjective. Brown, uh, flippers are not adjective. Flippers are noun. Sorry, the yes. Where where is the the where is True, true. Good job, Jeremy. The the word the the cold blue. The you put it here. The all right. What else? Sky blue. Uh, where were we? Uh, brown slippers and the gray. We we have already had the. Uh, so we just, just so we know that uh is an adjective. Okay. Uh a gray. Gray. Tank is now filled with oxygen and my back followed by a plastic see-through goggle. See through a uh, plastic. See through. True, goggles with two unusually large length. Unusually large length. A load of safety information was pulled early. Wait, what is a load? A load. To edit it. final check i excitedly 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 also detail yes jeremy you found an n okay good job jeremy and i had a plunge into the heart of the ocean waiting for an 
and unforgettable experience. Unforgettable. All right. So that is all for now. So thank you very much, everyone. It's already 5, uh, 1 p.m. And thank you for staying with me for this one hour and also for answering all the questions and taking part of the... I'm sorry, where do I look? <laughs> and taking part of this um, webinar. Okay, and that's it from me. So I am Teacher Amira. So we'll see you on the next webinar. Okay, so I hope you stay safe at home. And, and don't just play games. Okay, do something else. Board games can. You can play chess or other things. All right. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you.